let me first go back. In our own time, we didn't have anyone to look up to who was a professional studio artist and had another job. We had lecturers, we were full time painters, and we had uh, people in advertising agencies or who painted on the side, but nobody was actually in the studio full time. It was not, it was a high risk job. What I would advise you on artists now is that take your time. If you want to start, go and intern or go and work on a study an artist that already exists. Work in the studio for a couple of years. Learn studio habits. Learn proper studio, studio maintenance. Then you, when you now practice on your own, you will not make the same mistakes we make, which will take you 10 years to learn. But in two years, we're going to put everything together and say, this is the direction I want to go. But if you're looking at the money, if that's what is, you know, what is your motive for wanting to be a studio artist, I can tell straight of that you will fail. One, because it's the passion for the work that turns out the great work that people are able to relate with and pay for. You just don't come up with something from nowhere. So stay in the learn from the people who are there. Spend time with them. Look at how they do things. Watch the way they manage their space. Watch the way they manage their materials. Watch the way they manage their accounts. Watch everything that they do. Then you will be able to pick up some of that. So get a, if, for an artist to even be able to determine what his income is, is a difficult thing. Because you need a period of three years to have an average of what's going on. You have no idea what you spend time about three years of consistent earning. I say, okay, this is, I have an average of 50,000 naira a month. If not, you don't know what to do and how to manage yourself. Unless everyone who comes into your hand is just good. But if you have an idea of this is what I earn, you know that you cannot exceed a particular amount of expenditure every month, no matter how much you have. Because you have no idea what the next thing comes to. When it comes to schools, most of the most of the art schools actually the curriculum doesn't help the artist, the young artist to understand studio practice and maintenance and management. What do you think can be done to help in this sense? Um, well, I, I think what has happened well, in the school I went to was because it was a very bad, it was a hands on school, it was a very bad school. So you have to now they do a lot of writing than even you know, practice. So it's a, it's a, it's a different whole thing on the scale. Well, there's still always still the practice, but maybe the students don't pay attention to what they should pay attention to. If you want to be an art historian, then you can think about writing more. But if you want to practice in the studio, you should actually spend time and watch what is happening in your studio in school. I normally am invited as a guest lecturer to some 